Hello, all you space engineers out there. It's Commander Kingfish here, and it is Mod Wednesday. And I've got an interesting mod uh, this week. Uh, you might want to call it a quality of life mod. It certainly can help in logistics. And it's Pipelines, and it's by Inera. E N E N R A. Uh, so the premise of this is you build pipelines to get your to, to move materials now it can move a lot of different things uh, I mainly use it for ores uh, so you have a say and I just set up a basic ore facility here uh, mining just a real basic mining operation and so you, you have this mining operation here and we'll fly over here real quick and you have a basically a refinery facility for your ores as they're coming into your base now I've already built the structures to house part of the pipeline so this is where it would come into at least this is what I got it set up I've just got a basic refinery here and a cargo uh, and a sorter so let's go back and I'll actually show you how this thing works and and it's pretty pretty interesting actually uh, if you was to build and use uh, conveyors and whatnot to get from here all the way over to your base, it would be pretty expensive and, and really kind of tedious time consuming. So now if you take a, and let me get over to the block, uh, eight. So you have this pipeline hub is what it's called. And you've got little arrows on it to show the direction so you can kind of see that uh, I've got the arrows facing towards the direction that I want the pipeline to flow so I've got that set up there and if uh, we go to here so you kind of see so you got the arrows so it's very important that you make sure that you line this pipeline up all, all along the way with those arrows. Now I've also got a conveyor sorter set up to drain all. So this sorter will pull everything out of the cargo bin. And that's what work, has worked best for me. Now I think you, you have options in here to actually maybe set some of that up. Uh, so you got blacklists and it should pull it out but I've always found that it, setting up a sorter works pretty pretty well so now here's the other thing now I've already gone ahead and set up uh, places along the way to install these hubs so I wasn't going to be messing with it here uh, during the uh, video but you have, so if you hit your enter button and you type in uh, forward slash pipeline toggle and hit enter, it gives you a line of sight so that you can help properly line your, your hub up. So if you put, uh, so we, we've done that so we'll put the next one in and eight let's turn this thing all right and we've got it facing the right direction let's click enter and there we go so we've got the pipeline that extended itself out and the other nice thing about this is it's got collision so you can't just drive through it so now and then you can also see that the pipeline toggle or the line of sight has lined up so it moved it over to your next hub 
So let's go ahead and put this next one in. And let's get down here. And I've got it facing the right direction. There we go. Now this one was lined up a little off. I could have done a better job of setting this up. But it is connected and it's within the line of sight. So let's go to our next one. Which is right here. And we've got that facing the right direction. So there we go. That should pull that into there. There we go. And our next one is... right here. And so put it in. And that's facing the right direction. There we go. And so we want to put the next one in up here. And, oh, see, now that's not the right direction, so there we go. There we go. Now we're in the right direction. And that one kind of wasn't exactly lined up. But if we get to our next one, which is the facility... come down a little bit. Let's get this set on top. And again, we need to make sure that that's turned the right direction. And there we go. So that should extend that over to there from there. So now, uh, so now we've got this all connected and I've got these sorters set up to drain all. So you can uh, where is it here? Right there. It's all set up to drain all. Now, if we go and actually we want, we can turn, we can go ahead and turn that off by just typing the same command, forward slash pipeline toggle. There we go. That's turned off. All right. So now, uh, if we was to go back and start that drill and start it uh, doing a little uh, uh, mining, again, all we're going to do is get gravel. But we are in a field here. We are actually are in a nickel field, nickel and iron. So if we was to do this, And I can just use the control right here. Let's just uh, turn the drill on. All right, we got that turned on. And it should be this piston. Uh, actually, let me do a couple of things here. Minus 0.2. And let's uh, set that to reverse. And so that's slowly going down. And we're starting to get uh, gravel into there. So we should start seeing it coming in to here and going out. So you kind of see it coming in and it's... Uh, heading into the pipeline. It should be getting some more gravel. Well, it should be. It should be getting more than just that, but maybe not.
Anyway, all right, so now it probably has beaten us back, but it should already be back over at the processing facility. And it was empty before I started it. Uh, now it can be a little finicky, so sometimes you have to play around with it. But, but I can hear the, hear this working away. And you can kind of see the stone coming in and it's processing it. So as it's getting the stone, it's processing. And it is coming in to, so this should be putting, putting it into here. It looks like it's just not even getting to there. It's going straight to the, uh, going straight over here. Or it might have uh, gotten as much as it's going to get right now. So yeah, it's down to a little, little bit. It stopped going down over in the, uh, with the piston. Anyway, so that's one way you can uh, kind of help your logistics. It's a great mod for mining and you can get it set up. So you could have, uh, you know, four or five mines scattered around coming into uh, different facilities. Now, there's a few build rules. So the, all the pipeline cargo blocks have to be static. Uh, pipelines will not connect to another pipeline uh, block on the same grid or subgrid. So these are all in separate grids here. So I couldn't put another uh, pipe, uh, another uh, hub here and connect it into here. Now you can, I think you can set up a, another pipeline uh, to go out. So if you wanted to set up another pipeline and, and remove the ores out of here, or if you have these ores going into another container and then you can set up another pipeline to move it on to another location. Uh, the pipeline blocks do not need power. So in other words, we didn't have to power uh, each of these stations where I put a hub in. Uh, you do have to have power obviously where you're uh, mining your ore and you have to have power where you're processing it. And let's see, a couple of more things here. Uh, the pipeline hubs, they don't need line of sight to the next block, uh, but it is blocked by voxels, but not grids. So in other words, the reason I made sure that each one could see each other instead of trying to go through the ground is uh, the, the, the voxels will block it. But it would actually go through these grids. If you had a, uh, uh, this cargo, large cargo sitting up there, that pipeline would actually go through it, which would look kind of hokey for sure. And then the maximum connection distance is a kilometer. So, uh, so you could really spread this out over a long distance if you really wanted to. Well, today's mod ran a little bit longer than normal, but uh, I think it was well worth uh, demonstrating how it works and that it's a really, really pretty cool mod. So I hope you all enjoy it. I hope you give it a try. Uh, again, uh, the link to get to the uh, Steam Workshop is down below. So give it a, uh, give it a try. All right, so if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. Uh, and uh, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.